Hello, my name is Sylvia and I am a Portfolio Activation Specialist from the Cisco Customer Experience Center. In this video, we will discuss about license migrations in Enterprise Agreement 3.0. Let's start by reviewing the purpose of a license migration. The goal of this process is to release balance of licenses that are not being used and will not be used for other licenses that you have not purchased but want to use. With this process, you can avoid a duplicate count of licenses in the EA workspace, and therefore a true forward invoice will be based solely on the licenses you are indeed using. And in which cases is it possible to perform a license migration? There are some common use cases. One, in case of a hardware refreshment or replacement. Second, in case of an overconsumption that is caused by a BPA hardware order with an attached license that would aim the replacement and not the expansion. Third, in case of an upgrade from a lower to a higher license tier. And finally, when moving from an on-prem to a cloud solution. Now, let's review how you can perform a license migration. For EA 3.0, the license migration capability is not yet enabled in the EA workspace. However, Cisco still grants this option to EA 3.0 customers, and until the capability is rolled out in the EA 3.0's workspace, it can be requested by opening a support case with Cisco's EA operations team. The changes will not be immediately reflected in the consumption report. This will only happen on the true forward date. To request the license migration, start by manually generating the target licenses in the EA workspace as per the normal process. After that, reach out to your partner or to your Cisco portfolio activation specialist and request them to open a case for you to request license migration. There is no further action required. On the true forward date, the changes will take place and be reflected accordingly in the consumption report. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out.